Hi everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 23rd and the 30th of June 2018. Mars retrograde, what haven't been said about it? What is it and why is it affecting us so greatly this time? So we're having a very warm electric summer as some astrologers called it coming in. March retrogrades are always a time that we change our route, that we uh, see things regarding our actions and entrepreneurship and forward movement in a different light, from a different viewpoint. Uh, it's also a time that we could be less impulsive than usual in that retrograde time. But as that Mars springs back forward, a lot of impulsivity and reactionism can follow through. Why is this summer warmer than other summers? Why is this coming eclipse season warmer than other eclipse seasons? And why have we been talking about this Mars for so much in the, ast in the astrological world? Because... A, this Mars retrograde happens on the South Node. That means that a lot of issues from the past, unsolved business, karmatic themes can come up both in our personal lives and as, as a collective as well. Secondly, this is an Aquarius talking about humanity, talking about groups, talking about advancement and improvement and upgrade and rebellion. It is taking my role and, and taking action within the group and leadership within the group on the one hand or rebelling against it on the other. And it's about harnessing my actions so they would have a greater benefit for humanity, for this world, in a sense. Secondly, Mars is going to be out of bounds this summer. And when a planet goes out of bounds, that means that if the sun usually is the highest star in the sky, uh, that means that all the solar system planets usually are under it. It is the highest reaching star in the sky, um, or planet in the sky, so to speak, or light. And when a star, when a planet, I'm sorry, when a planet reaches a higher declination than the sun, it is out of the bounds of that sun's rulership and dominion. It is a free radical acting on its own will and, and, and able to really uh, bring himself forward in an unfiltered and sometimes uncultured manner. It doesn't obey by any system, by any rules. Secondly, astronomically speaking, this is the most powerful factor. Mars is very close to Earth during this summer. Usually the distance is about 140,000 miles, if I'm not mistaken. This summer it's going to be around 35,000 miles. That's about around a fifth of the distance. That means we could see Mars and feel Mars much more strongly in our lives. And what is Mars about? Mars is about our forward movement. Mars is about our action. Mars is about our self-identity. Mars is about entrepreneurship. Mars is about all the male energies that we have inside, in our male sides, and our desires. So, an aggressiveness all that testosterone, it's the god of war. And impulsivity is one of its strongest traits. We need to be careful because wherever that Mars retrograde is happening in our chart, wherever we have Aquarius in our chart, 
whatever is opposing it or squaring it will be feeling it in those areas through our lives through this summer and the dance of the retrograde movement is a bit of a forward one step forward one step back kind of dance because that necessity feeling of necessity can take me forward too fast before emotional ripening actually took place and then sometimes things do not get rooted in reality and I'm forced or I understand that I acted too fast and I maybe did a mistake and then I decide to take that step back or I'm forced to take that step back. And that of course heightens frustration and aggression. And only then am I ripening into it and, take, and, and retaking that step forward. And we have to know that this is how the game goes through the summer and expect that and that and in that way lower the frustration in those area of our lives um, so I would say that the proximity to earth is maybe the strongest factor the astronomical factor because Mars is so much felt no so so it has been said by Maurice Fernandez and Kaipacha and others that this eclipse season and this summer is unlike other seasons, unlike other summers. It's more transformational. It's more uh, challenging. And there's bigger agitation. We're sharper and the knives are getting sharpened. And we're much less in control. We're much more impulsive. And there's strong feelings rooted that Mars brings very strong feelings, survivalist feelings, that Aquarius connects them to a higher cause, to a higher idea, to some rational standing behind that, some logic rational standing behind it. Hopefully. <laughs> but wherever that Mars falls in your life, be careful from too much aggression. Be careful from being too impulsive. Be careful from doing that step forward when it's not ripened enough emotionally, when conditions have not ripened. And take your pace, make your pace much, a much more flexible one. Don't be frustrated by the sideways movement because it's part of the game. So I hope that gives you some clarity. Let's go down to the weekdays. On Saturday the 23rd we have the Sun squaring Chiron sensitive day be careful not to hurt yourself or others the Sun is trining the moon so this could be a very beautiful day between men and women and between our masculine and feminine sides it is also opposing Uranus and the moon is also opposing Uranus so we have to be careful not to be too rebellious during this day and not to stand out of the crowd just for the sake of standing out, but actually have something unique to bring forward. Mercury opposes Pluto on that day. So our communication is very deep, transformative and intense. We can uncover things or understand things that have been uh, hidden from us regarding ourselves or others or, or matters in this world. And we have to be careful with our words because our words could be venomous and we could see exactly how to hurt people and how to push their buttons and become sarcastic about it. So don't. Um, the moon is going to square Venus and Mars. It could be a day connected to relationships and satisfaction and the whole female male thing. And at the night time, again, if you're in the state, it's going to be your morning noon time. And if you're in Australia, it's the next morning. It's Monday morning. But here in Europe, Sunday night, there's a, I'm sorry, Saturday night is a great night to go out, enjoy yourself, or have intimate uh, experiences. There's a conjunction between Jupiter and the moon in Scorpio. Great night also to expand your horizons. And just to... Mm, scrub the limits a little bit and let yourself be more um, symbiotic not too symbiotic though Sunday the 24th Scorpio moon trining Neptune great day to be outside 
great day to, great day to be in water or near water it's a great day for creativity sextile Mars and I'm sorry sextile Mercury brilliant mind brilliant ideas uh, good conversations with people trying Pluto what I need the, the strength I'm looking for comes from within on Sunday the 24th Monday the 25th Venus is in a square to uh, to Jupiter we have to watch out not to be too indulgent not to be too extravagant or undiscreet or uh, untactful and be professional be um, modest and don't be too autopistic don't think you're omnipotent um, Thursday the 26th Moon sextile stationing Mars trine Venus squaring Neptune it's a day that we could feel in the afternoon a little discombobulated energies could be a little weird because Mars is going into retrograde but the moon is sextiling that Mars we can mitigate this effect together with other people and we can enjoy the company of other people if you do feel discombobulated and a little worn out a little um, tired or or hazy take it easy take it easy Wednesday the 27th the moon is going to trine Uranus it's a good day to put some spice in your daily uh, routine to change things to try new things to innovate um, Thursday the 28th we have Saturn in a position conjunct the full moon that means that Saturn is just in 180 de degrees from the Sun and very close to the moon so this full moon is first of all an energetic peak of this month we'll be feeling that what kind of energy it's a harsh energy it's an energy that calls us to be responsible and to take out of our lives via a quincunx to the north node of that full moon take out of our lives purify our lives from tendencies from uh, um, acting out or behaviors or patterns that are no longer sustainable that are not good for us in the strategic manner that are unbeneficial that they're not satisfying they're not bringing the same value as before we need to purify take them out filter them out of our system and that proximity to Saturn talks about the need to find our freedom within our own limits and laws to grow up mature and take responsibility and do things right this is a full moon in Capricorn and it can touch on the subjects of hygiene health both emotional personal physical and global and environmental health there's a square between that full moon to Chiron conjunct Aegea in Pisces so the health of the world hygiene of the world emotional hygiene emotional health is is a subject that plays into this full moon and how does my emotional health or the things I do for the health of this environment of this world affect the way I see myself as a mature responsible trustworthy person However, at night, on Thursday, is it going to be a sextile to Jupiter from the moon? It's a great night to go out, to enjoy the company of people, to uh, uh, be with others, whether in a domestic or an outside uh, situation. Friday, the 29th, dramatic day, day that we have to be careful not to be too total or obsessive. Um, it can be a very emotional day and not necessarily emotions that day are not necessarily beneficial so a little uh, um, logic could go a long way and if you are going to be dramatic and theatrical take it to the joie de vivre side take it to the joy of life take it to happiness and to enjoyment and to squeezing the zest out of life with mercury that is entering the sign of leo on that day saturday the 30th erratic day Uranus is T-squaring the moon 
and Mercury. It's a day that we could have trouble deciding, but would want to get forward fast. It's a time that we could be um, have, having a very short fuse towards other people, or indecisive, or brilliant. We could also be brilliant and see things in a different manner than we saw before. But we cannot expect stability on Saturday and we have to stop our brain from overworking itself into stress and float with things a little more and give more credence to emotion and to uh, taking a slower pace and letting us enjoy the smell of the roses not only cerebrally rationalizing and working through things all the time so that's about it I want to thank you for sharing and commenting and liking these videos that help them get spread and of course for private consultations or evolutionary astrology studies just contact me I want to thank you for listening and I want to wish you a wonderful wonderful week and a very beneficial mars retrograde because the most beneficial thing that could happen from this mars retrograde is an upgrade of our basic emotions and needs and parts of our more carnal side and evolving into a higher plane a plane that actually is much more forward and advanced than the one we were on before an ignition, ignition of processes that we've been postponing for a long time this summer is an amazing time to take things forward and change so thank you again and goodbye